Well, welcome to Weekly Wisdom. Uh, today, I'm going to invite you to do something that is, that is very important, and here it is, to look a little deeper. Just look a little deeper into your own heart to make sure that you see what's really going on there, because our proverb today kind of lets us know that we may not always have the appropriate perspective on what's happening inside of us. Here it is. It's Proverbs 16, verse 2, and it simply says this, All a man's ways seem innocent to him, but motives are weighed by the Lord. When a person looks at themselves, we can often say, I'm innocent. I've got the right perspective on everything. I've got it right. But we're reminded that motives are weighed by the Lord. God knows what's really happening in our hearts. And so here's the encouragement from God's word. Be careful when you look at yourself. When I look at myself and say, I've got it all right. We're live, we live in a time where large swaths of people will simply say, I'm on the side of this topic. You're on the other side. And so guess what? I'm completely right and you're completely wrong. As a matter of fact, every perspective I have and every outlook I have and every opinion I have is absolutely right, and everyone, everyone who disagrees with me is absolutely wrong. All I can say to that is, that's pretty unlikely. It's pretty unlikely that I have it all right. And I dare to say it's pretty unlikely that you have everything right. So a little humility is, is called for in our hearts. And so, so in this passage, we're challenged to understand we don't know our hearts sometimes. We don't always know what's happening inside of ourselves. We can fool ourselves and, and pretend that we have the right perspective on everything. We can think that our ways are pure, but as God searches our heart, we find out they're not. A great example of this is King David in the Old Testament. Uh, David knew a lot about self-deception, a lot about sinning, and a lot about having to confess his sins. Read Psalm 51 sometime, and you'll recognize that David cried out to God confessing his sins because he recognized he had really deceived himself. And, and one of my favorite psalms in the Bible is written by King David. It's Psalm 139. And in that psalm, he begins by saying these words, O Lord, you've searched me and you know me. And then he goes on to say, you know when I stand up, you know when I sit down, you know when I, and he just he makes this list, God, you know in my mother's womb you knew me. I mean, God, you know everything about me. And so he, he prays and says, God, you search me, you know me. But here's what's interesting. At the end of Psalm 139, do you know how he finishes? With a plea to God, with a prayer to God. You know what that prayer was? Search me, O God, and know my heart. Try me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Search me, show me, and then lead me. But David recognized, even though he said, God, you've searched me and you know me, I have to also pray this, search me more. Would you dare to do that? Would you dare to pray, God, I don't always have the right motives, the right perspective, the right outlook. God, will you search me and show me your truth? I may think I know what's happening in my heart, but God, you know me better than I know myself. Let's pray that God will search our hearts. It's a courageous prayer. Will you join with me? Living God, um, every one of us can err to the side of self-deception, of believing that we're always right. But we, here's our prayer today, God. We join David, who knew a lot about brokenness and self-deceit. And we say, God, you've searched us, you know us, but now we pray, search me, O oh God, know my heart. Try me and know what's churning around inside of me, my anxious thoughts. And God, see if there's any offensive way in me, any. And lead me in a new way. Lead me in your ways everlasting. We pray this in the powerful name of Jesus. Amen. Thanks for joining me for this moment of wisdom. Walk in that wisdom. And if you're part of Shoreline Church, we'll see you Sunday at 9 or 11. If you're part of another church, get engaged. Be part of your church. Blessings. Enjoy the rest of your week.